Hey, what's up guys? Moto Chris here. It's been a while since I've been on the bike. There's still snow everywhere because we had a whole week where it pretty much did nothing but snow. The roads were all wet and icy. So the bikes were garaged for a really long time. And now we're going out for the ride. It's not the best day. It's a little bit windy. I think it's about like 45 or 50 degrees, but I came prepared. I got my boots. I got my knee pads. I got my gloves. I got a t-shirt. And then under this jacket, I have a flannel. So I feel all right right now. Granted, I'm not moving, so I'm not going to feel any of the wind. But we'll see how it goes. I just couldn't help up going for a ride. I mean, the weather was nice enough today where it wasn't too cold. At least it was above 40s. And, well, we had some sunshine about like 10 minutes ago. But that's Colorado weather for you. Right now, I'm just waiting for the bike to warm up. And after that, we'll be on our way. And you guys could come along with me for my first ride and like two or three weeks on the R3. My first real ride, because I rode a little bit with my brother when he was learning how to ride on his 600. Just up and down the street, around the neighborhoods and stuff, but this time it's just gonna be me. Um, and I'm just gonna enjoy the ride, man. It's been so long since I've ridden. It actually puts an emotional toll on you. I don't really know how to explain it. It's like you're lacking something. When you're so used to doing something, it's almost like you get addicted to it or you become reliant on it for either therapy or to clear your mind or just have fun and then all of a sudden you can't do it anymore and you really feel the difference in your quality of life. <laughs> At least that's what it seems like for me. Am I being dramatic? I don't know. I just love riding, man. And I was watching a few guys ride on YouTube just this morning and I was like, you know what? I gotta get out there. But there's a point where you just gotta get outside, ride your bike, and clear your mind especially now since that i've been working 12 hour days this has been ridiculous man so finally we get to ride and you know what enough blabbering let's go i think the bike has warmed up enough for us to go a little bit around the block first of all i gotta turn my high beams on i let my brother ride this while he was learning and he might have turned them off on accident i don't know he would why he would have turned them off And so the last bike I rode was actually my brother's CBR 600 double R. And I'm so, so that thing has custom clutch, not a, a custom clutch lever on it. You know, the ones that are adjustable. And if you're a noob, you don't really know what they do, but you hear about them all the time. Yeah, well, he had some of those on there and he had them adjusted, the previous owner, to where you would barely pull out the clutch and it would start engaging. So now I'm used to that because this one doesn't engage almost until like the very end or the almost to like the very end or the middle of the clutch play and wow this bike is so ridiculously easy to ride Woo -hoo -hoo! Ooh! weather elements obstacles man it's all coming back to me now those leaves i was really afraid that i was going to slip on those especially with the tires being cold that's one thing that someone told me is that when you're a fair weather rider and you're riding on a cold day out like this your wheels might warm up maybe but the pavement is never going to get up to temperature so you've always got to be careful and i've heard of people slipping on little piles of leaves like that on the road um i didn't want that to be me on my first ride so um i'm gonna relax a little bit <laughs> i got a little bit excited because this i've been riding the cbr right and the cbr feels like a tank compared to this this is like a feather it almost feels like i'm harry potter riding on one of those brooms and that cbr feels like an actual motorcycle this thing is so ridiculously fun though and it's so comfortable riding that 600 really made me appreciate how comfortable and fun the r3 is I mean, look, I can just dive and woo, woo. It's so effortlessly. So effortlessly. Oh, I really just said that. My apologies. I know it doesn't make any sense. You don't have to tell me. It feels so good to be out here, man. So I started thinking, one of my favorite parts about my brother's 600 is the exhaust and the sound that comes out of that thing. Uh, it's a four cylinder, straight in line four, 
that's pretty much my dream bike well, no it's not my dream bike it's how my dream bike would sound because i've always loved that sound ever since i was a little kid and this sounds all right while you're riding it um idle is pretty pathetic but there was a point where i thought you know what what's the point of an exhaust you know for a bike with an engine this small it's not going to make a lot of difference and all you get is noise but now i realize that that is a huge factor um, when it comes to fun for riding these things i don't know if i necessarily believe that loud pipes say lives but um anyway i I went from wanting pipes to not wanting pipes to uh, wanting pipes again, even if it is just for the weight savings. My friend who has the full Acropovic GT on his 2017 R3, or GP exhaust on his 2017 R3, um, he swears by it. He says that once you take that catalytic converter off, um, it basically just feels like a whole nother machine because you've got all this weight from underneath your bike that's all of a sudden gone and it feels even more nimble than how it is now. So I'm curious to see what that feels like. And changing, changing, and changing it up with the sound wouldn't be such a bad idea either. So I'm gonna go ahead and ride Riverdale Road, which is one of my favorite roads to ride that's nearby. Um, I'm just gonna take it easy. It's not really the kind of temperature where you wanna ride hard. I'm just gonna take it easy and enjoy the ride since I haven't been out here in a while. And also with the holidays, um, drivers have gotten increasingly aggressive and increasingly stupid especially on the highway i'm not sure if it's because there's a lot of tourists here because it's winter you know everybody's visiting their family from other states who have moved here so now you've got not only the transplants that have moved here from another state but now their family's visiting them because colorado is such an amazing place and it's just packed other than that it could be like the holiday spirit some people say that holidays are about to be joy they're supposed to be about joy and happiness and giving to one another and others believe that uh that was a cool bike <laughs> others believe that it actually does the opposite that people become increasingly selfish and um inconsiderate kind of feels like that L judging by the traffic patterns anyway who knows for sure but that's what it feels like here in colorado and that's kind of discouraged me from doing a lot of riding and then i'm working 12 hour shifts so i go in at 6 30 in the morning i leave about six o'clock it's still dark and then i leave at 6 p.m in the 6 p.m in the morning i leave at 6 p.m and it's dark then so you guys know i don't really like to ride at night so i haven't gotten the opportunity to ride for a really long time And you know what? I don't feel all that cold for how much wind there is. Um, I really don't feel any cold at all. I mean, yeah, my gear starts is starting to feel like it's getting cold, but these knee pads are really helping. I can feel the plastic getting cold, but that's behind all the pads.